Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today we have a first impression on the recently released, super recently just dropped this morning, um, Kobe 9 EM, also known as the Kobe 9 Low. The EM stands for Engineered Mesh, which these have instead of Flynet. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm just going to breeze through most of this because it's almost all the same. Um, traction is the same exact thing as the uh, Kobe 9, uh, like regular version, Kobe 9 Elite, I guess you could say. This is the regular version. The other version is the Elite. Don't ask me why they released the Elites first. I don't know. Um, and I just don't really care. So, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is the regular version. Same exact traction. It's still super pliable, really thin very grippy and I expect it to perform just as nicely as the regular Kobe 9. Um, the Kobe 9's traction to me personally was one of my favorites of all time. Uh, these, the uh, 28's and um, the Penny 5 surprisingly still are like my top, those are like my top three as far as like A1 traction in my book. So uh, those for me just have had the best kind of mo more sticky uh, like the stickiest type of traction inside um, as far as like all-around traction goes I'd say that most of those are pretty much catered towards indoor usage only uh, if you wanted something durable for indoor outdoors you would want to pick something else so the cushion on these guys is the same exact thing as the elite uh, it's just the, the drop-in lunar insert or, uh, or midsole and um, you know I really like it so uh, I actually might use the other one from the Elite version in these guys since it's already broken in. These are a little bit firm. Uh, they start out firm and all that stuff and then you have to like have them mold to your feet and your arch and all of that stuff. So um, I might just use the the uh, Kobe 9, like the regular, the Elite one that I have. Sorry, I'm confusing myself now. There's too many versions of shoes. But um, yeah, and as far as like putting the Lunar and Zoom setup in this from the LeBron, I wouldn't do that um, and I'll get into that in the fit section. So the materials, uh, again, these are the EM versions. So this is the engineered mesh uh, versus Flyknit. So this is um, just so, like so much better than the Kobe 8, in my opinion, as far as the mesh is concerned. Um, there's not really any fuse backing on the side panels. Um, it's a really thin fuse uh, right here on the toe. Um, and I mean, that's, that's basically it. Um, and then you also have that fuse uh, rand right here, which is normal from like the Kobe 8s and stuff. But um, uh, this stuff here is just totally different than the engineered mesh that we saw on last year's model. Again, there's nothing really backing it except for a nylon material on the inside, which is where it's gonna be getting its strength from uh, and also where it's gonna be uh, limiting its stretch. Um, however, it's still engineered mesh, so it's probably going to be prone to ripping in certain places, uh, just like the Kobe 8s, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that maybe you didn't ball so hard in them, I don't really know. But um, a lot of people's Kobe 8s have like torn on certain sections right here, uh, right here. I've seen it right here in the middle, um, and also right at the arc or arch of the foot here. Um, so I've seen it in a bunch of different places. I've seen the clips break and all that stuff. So, um, But uh, yeah, so as far as materials go, I like this material better. Um, I think it flexes better and all that kind of stuff because there's no fuse backing it So it just feels like you're wearing like an uh, Another like sock basically with the the midsole and outsole attached to it However, I do like the way that the flyknit looks over this uh, from like a casual perspective, but um that personally I mean that doesn't really have a place on the court in my opinion So uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what the materials are which is something that I personally do enjoy so as far as the fit goes, these guys fit true to size. There's no dead space or anything. They've really slimmed down the toe box. Uh, the other one was a little bit roomy in here, um, like the volume. So the top of my foot and the material itself weren't really touching. It felt like there was just some extra dead space there. These guys, however, they fit perfect. They fit similar to the Kobe 8s. Uh, so as soon as I stuck my foot in there, it was nice and snug, just the way that I like it, um, which is, again, what I was saying earlier with the Lunar, I wouldn't put the Lunar, or not the Lunar, but the LeBron 11 midsole, I wouldn't put that in here because that's going to raise your foot up um, to the point to where it might be like way too tight in there. Uh, so yeah, these fit closer to the Kobe 8s um, in my opinion, and um, I personally do enjoy that a lot more because uh, I just like that snug kind of fit. As far as ventilation, um, it's going to be a little bit, in, I mean, in, in comparison directly to like the the Elite version, it's definitely an upgrade because of how like airy it is. It's not backed with fuse. Um, it's just nylon. Nylon's fairly breathable, so it's not like like straight up like open areas. But it's gonna allow heat to escape a lot better than that fuse uh, like 
um, you know, the, the way that the fuse is back, the, the fly net on the, on the Elite. So um, I think that that'll be a lot better. As far as like this compared to the Kobe 8 itself, I think the Kobe 8 is still going to beat it in ventilation, but um, now that the fit is much more snug in this guy here, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. Um, so, but yeah, definitely, definitely an upgrade in the ventilation department from the Elite counterpart. As far as support is concerned, this is literally like the same exact setup except for there's no carbon fiber instead of it, it's a TPU. Um, and I don't know if that's going to do anything. Obviously carbon fiber is a little bit stronger than TPU, but I, I mean, I I doubt that I'm going to be able to break this and I doubt that most people would be able to as well. So, um, but as far as like its like purpose or whatever or how it's going to function, um, I think it's going to work just fine. It's literally the same exact thing. So you have freedom right here. So you can like, you know, turn, change direction, things like that, curl, cut, all that kind of good stuff right here on the ball of your foot. But then when you stop, you have that restriction right there from this piece, which is still surprising to me because, you know, you'd think that you need some torsional support underfoot. But uh, I guess this might wrap somewhere under there. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, it worked. So. Uh, it's just a different material, and I like the look of the carbon fiber better, but it I don't think it's going to matter too much. All right, guys, so that pretty much takes care of everything. Um, as far as my initial first impressions, stay tuned to a performance review. It shouldn't take me that long since I've already played in these guys here, which you can see they're so tall they don't even fit in frame, which is funny. So, um, But, yeah, I like low tops better. Um, these fit me better as well, and uh, they have the same basic features that I enjoyed in this shoe. Uh, so, basically... This shoe, I love the traction over the Kobe 8's period. Like, that's just, there's really no discussing it. The traction in this shoe is better than the Kobe 8's, and um, I just like that better. However, I just really don't like this high collar here. I think it's unnecessary. So, giving me everything that I liked and wanted in a low top shoe, this is awesome. Like, this is what I want. So, uh, yeah, so I'm really happy about these. They're a little bit more affordable as well. They're 160 instead of 225 or whatever these these guys are but again I do like the way that the fly net looks but it's not a big deal because it's a hoop shoe so you know looks aren't everything so thank you guys for watching thanks for all your support um, also some people have noticed that um, you know I'm uh, using a different logo on Instagram and things like that and uh, I'll get into that stuff a little bit later but I'll just kind of leave you guys off with a small teaser of what's to come so thank you guys again and until next time guys have a good one